Welcome to another edition of High School Rewind, available only on Xfinity On Demand. We are at Taylorsville High School as the Taylorsville Warriors prepare to host the Hunter Wolverines in the Region 2 finale. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Dane Stewart here to bring you today's game, and we've got a doozy. The football season came down between these two for the top two seeds out of Region 2, as does the basketball season. Let's start with the visiting Hunter Wolverines. They are locked into the number two seed out of Region 2, 10 and 11 overall, but 7 and 2 in Region in play coming into this one with a nice victory uh, over the West Panthers, a game in which Noah Togiai, a guy we're going to talk about extensively throughout tonight's game, had 19 points. He leads them in scoring with nearly 22 points per game and seven boards. The Utah verbal commit has had a stellar season, but he has been looking forward to this one. The first time these, these two teams played, Togiai only went for eight points. That's well below his average and tied for a season low. He is looking to avenge that poor performance here tonight on Taylorsville Senior Night. And speaking of the Warriors, we just mentioned senior night for them. 17 and 5 overall coming in and undefeated in region play. 9 and 0 in region 2 for the Warriors. That's good enough for the number one seed out of region 2 for the blue and gold. And they are led by a stellar player themselves. In fact, one of the best all around players in the entire state, that being Sidney Freeman. He's a top five scorer, assist man, and steals man in 5A. He has been the leader for the Warriors. Uh, 20 points per game, four assists per game, and two and a half steals per game. He's been fantastic. He's got a nice supporting cast around him including Jevin Warren. Watch for him, a double figure guy with nearly 16 points per game. And then also one other name I want to throw out there is Ramey Prince. Watch for him, nearly 10 points per game for Prince. It's a nice trio that's led the Warriors all season long. We mentioned these two teams locked into their seedings, but a lot to play for here tonight is Togiai looking for a little revenge. Meanwhile, the Warriors trying to stay perfect and cap off a perfect season here in region play. Going to be fun to see which team is successful here tonight. With that introduction, let's send you down to the center circle for tonight's opening tip. Ready for the tip here at Taylorsville High School. The home warriors in their home whites and Hunter in the road blues. That's Noah Togiai who wins the tip. Talk about him in the open. Of course, this is Israel Tatami with it now. Running point for the Wolverines. They get it to Noah Togiai. Nice spin move. Right, attacking the hoop. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebounded by the Warriors and back the other way with Jevin Warren. Senior lineup for the Warriors here on senior night. As this is Sidney Freeman with it now, looking to drive. Kicked outside, three-pointer on the way. That no good, rebounded by Tatami. Shot was taken by Evangelista quickly down the other way. And an offensive foul going against Joe Father Papalongi. That'll be his first. Freeman with it near side, Stone Togiai guarding him. That's double zeros. We'll try to keep it clear tonight between he and his brother Noah. It's a three-pointer dialed up by Kia De La Serna, and the Warriors have a 3-0 lead. One minute in, and it's the big 6-4 senior is now we've got a stoppage of play. Had an unscheduled break, has had an item on the floor to clear off, 3-0. Taylorsville out in front, Tatami with it. Noah Togiai looking to drive, again attacking the hoop. That ball was blocked. It was Evangelista coming down the other way. Warren trying to attack, had that one knocked away, but into the hands of Bagot. Now back up top with Freeman near midcourt. Screen coming, now double teamed. Bagot, Evangelista now with the drive. The lane clears out. And Manuel Evangelista with his first points of the evening. And it's 5-0 Taylorsville early on. As Noah Togiai with it here. Cold start for him. 0 for 2 from the floor. Nice job defensively by Evangelista just closing off that drive. Now a pair of screens. Togiai can't take advantage over to Stone. Now Stone Togiai. That ball is blocked. And Evangelista with a pair of blocks here early. Though that one is out off of him. Ramey Prince checks in for the Warriors as Bagat heads to the bench. Three-pointer on the way for Hunter. And it's Adam Hastings, a 6'2 senior with a long tray. And it's 5'3 now Taylorsville's. Freeman over to Evangelista. Togiai out on him. Pull up from about eight feet. But Evangelista able to hit. Good start offensively for the Warriors, especially considering their leading scorer, Freeman, has yet to net a bucket. Now Noah Togia trying baseline contact, no call, missed it, then gets the putback 
Nice follow by Noah Togiai, able to get the rebound and tap it back in. Now Freeman, look at the quickness on the baseline drive. Beautiful pass over to Prince, who gets fouled, and Ramey Prince will head to the line for two. Fouls on Hastings, his first. Ramey Prince at the line, made his first. Second free throw, good as well. 9-5, Taylorsville out in front here as Tatamy brings the ball up the floor. He'll be guarded by Freeman. Drives right, Stone Toe Guy sends some screens. Now Noah. Being guarded by Evangelista again. A lot of discussion about Evangelista's defense in that first matchup where Noah Togiai only scored eight. He's got the matchup again today as Noah Togiai from long range can't hit the shot. And bringing it out is Ramey Prince. Freeman thought about the three and got followed up along in the air, but then a carrying call. Going to be called here on Sydney Freeman. Tatami near side as Togiai comes around the screen. That's him with it in the corner. Beautiful job away from the ball. Stone set up from six feet instead kicked out. Now Noah with another drive. Shot off. Nice job by Freeman collapsing down. Boy, that's a difficult shot as Freeman all over it and created all sorts of trouble on that jumper. Other way now is Freeman looking to drive. Kicked outside, three-pointer on the way. De La Serna can't hit that one. As Togai hands to Tatami. Coming the other way, he finds some space, and then a foul gonna be called here on Freeman on the reach. Manny Suarez has just checked in for Taylorsville. So that was the first foul on Freeman. Boy, that's another difficult shot as Evangelista had a hand in the face. Noah Togai able to get that one in. He now has four points. Boy, nice delay there by Warren, who's able to go to the glass and lay it in. You see the speed that Taylorsville's possessed all season long is now Noah Togiai recognizing space and Hill do the exact same thing. And just like that, Hunter's closed within two, 11-9 now the Taylorsville advantage. Freeman brings, brings the ball across the timeline. Marked now by Noah over to Warren. Warren looking to drive, pull up from the elbow, and Jevin Warren with back-to-back -back buckets. Feeling good for the boys in white. Boy, a dangerous pass, found his way to follow Papa Longy, and then the help defense from Warren knocks it out. Tatami to inbound, boy, that's a threaded pass, and then nearly stolen, and it is turned over. Over to Taylorsville. Ball up the floor quickly, and boy, Warren just able to stay in play. And we'll hand it back to Sydney. Under three minutes to play here in what's been a pretty entertaining first quarter. 13-9 advantage for Taylorsville. Warren, that one hit front of the iron with the rebound. Going back up, and that one eventually decides to fall for Manny Suarez. Another senior here for these Warriors as they celebrated their seniors here pregame tonight. It's been a good group. Their first region title since 02. Taylorsville has secured this year and their first trip to the state playoffs in the last seven years. So it's been a good season, of course. Taylorsville was just outside the playoffs last year, had a triple overtime loss in a play-in game. They learned a lot from that, as you can tell this season, as Freeman bringing the ball up the other way. Screen set, that's a long three for Freeman. Back of the iron, rebounded by Tatamy. Wisely pulls that out, as didn't have any numbers. And now Hunter will look to set. Follow Papalongi with the screen. Tatami over now to Noah Togiai. Gets the switch. Now Stone with it. Back up top to Noah. Taylorsville student section trying to cheer on this D. Drive by Noah, and a travel called on Noah Togiai. Jordan Howard is checked in for the Wolverines as Stone Togiai will catch a breather. Nice screen there by Evangelista. And then the kick out, Warren had started to fill the space, a miscommunication, and turned over. 15 9, Taylorsville out in front. A couple early fouls since then, the teams have really settled in. Neither in real foul trouble here early. Tatami. 
Trying to cross Freeman over. Good D put on by the senior guard. Now in the post with follow up along your boy. Beautiful pass, but can't be handled. Coming back up with it is follow up along and going glass too long. And that ball knocked out off of Hunter. It will go back to the Warriors. One minute left here in the opening quarter. 15 9. Still our score. Screen by Suarez. This is Warren from 18. And Jevin Warren is feeling good here in this one. 17-9 now the scores. Noah Togiai coming back the other way. Body hit the floor. Nothing there. Togiai with the follow. It's the second time he's gotten to the rim and laid it in. The Taylorsville staff would have liked to call. Nothing coming from the officials. Freeman now had his drive cut off. He will pull it back out to midcourt. As Hunter gets things aligned right defensively again. Over to Warren. Tatami comes up on him. Now Freeman again. Boy, and getting hands all over him is Howard. Taylorsville wanted some help from the officials. Nothing there. He's able to control it still with Prince. Down to five seconds left. Freeman trying to drive in. Togiai coming over on the help. Got the shot off, but that's certainly affected by Noah as he heaves the full quarter. No go. And with that, the horn sounds. 17-11. The Warriors out in front after one. Start of the second quarter, Taylorsville with the possession and a six-point lead. Boy, beautiful movement away from the balls. Finding some space is Ramey Prince, and more impressive is the senior guard, Sidney Freeman. Looked like he was locked up, able to thread a stellar pass into the key for the junior Prince. And then Freeman comes over, gets one of those steals we talked about, heading the other way. Boy, beautiful follow by Evangelista, and the block by Tatami. Well, that's impressive from the 6'2 senior guard for Hunters. Inside, had that one knocked away. Beautiful position for Ojeda, but couldn't corral the pass and turn back over. Excuse me, they actually called a foul on that play on Adam Hastings, his second foul. As De La Cerna checks back in for Taylorsville. Warren. Back over to De La Serna. He's already hit a three. Make it two. Another three-pointer for Kia De La Serna on senior night. He's shooting the ball well. Eight points. What a difficult shot there for Togiai. Out of bounds off of Hunter. McKay Meidlinger is checked in for the Warriors. Excuse me, for the Wolverines. Who trail now 22-11. Another three-pointer on the way for Manny Suarez. Couldn't get that one to fall. Tatami able to sky to collect the rebound. Is now at Stone Togiai, recognizes some space. Boy, he hits the floor hard. It's going to be a blocking foul on De La Serna. First foul on De La Serna. Stone Togiai made his first free throw. Second attempt, no good. Ball batted up and tipped back to Hunter. Stone going again and said he traveled with it. Aaron Canaperi has checked in for Taylorsville. And coming back in is Evangelista as well. Warriors with a 10 point lead. As Warren threw that one beyond his teammate and out of bounds. Just checking in, that was number 33, Joseph Arnold for Hunter. Cross court pass. Now up top over to Meidlinger. Extra pass to Tatami, corner three. That one rimmed out on him. Loose ball that Noah Togiai is able to bring down. Now it's Meidlinger looking to attack. That shot was a little long. Tatami with the board. Golden glass. And Israel Tatami able to bring Hunter back to within eight. Important for the Wolverines to find some scoring help for Noah Togiai. Tatami can fill that role. Is second on the team in scoring with eight per game. That shot missed by Taylorsville. It's over to Noah Togiai for three. That one is good. And Togiai brings the Wolverines to within five. They trail by as many as 12, I believe, 11. And now it's down to five. And a timeout going to be taken here by Coach by Boyce of the Warriors. Six straight points for the Warriors, and, or for the Wolverines, excuse me. And now Taylorsville looking to end what's been a Mini run here. It's Freeman 
Well, that's that defensive hunter. Clogged up his lane initially and caused the turnover. Tatami calls out the play over to Togiai from about a foot inside the three-point arc. That shot was long. Rebounded by Stone going glass. And it's an 8-0 run for the Wolverines, 22-19. Taylorsville out in front is Warren with the drive. That shot left a little shy of the front of the rim, and now Meidlinger was leading the press, but Stone didn't fill the lane like McKay thought he would and turned it over to Freeman, who now attacks the hole, wisely pulls it out as the Wolverines had men back. Ball works his way around the perimeter, finds its way to Ramey Prince. Now Evangelista looking to drive against Noah Togiai. Not much that Togiai can do there as Evangelista with a nice pull up. That will end an eight nothing run for the visiting team. It's now Tatami with the baseline drive and pass over in the corner. Now Meidlinger for three, front of the iron. Rebounded by Stone Togiai, though he couldn't bring it in. Midway through this second quarter. Warriors now with a 24-19 lead. Again, no foul situation really for either team at this point. It's Warren looking to drive. Boy, and Tatami thought he had some help defense. It left for an open shot for Warren, but he's unable to hit it. Now Tatami will back it back out. Freeman on him. He's using Meidlinger. Now Tatami for three. Israel Tatami! Dials up a trio and it's 24-22. And just like that, the Wolverines continue to just claw back in this one. Evangelista for three. Back of the iron. Tatami again. He's been a force today as Noah Togiai brings it down. Working off the screen. Now back out. And then tried to thread a pass to Meidlinger. That's going to be out off of Evangelista. It'll stay here. Thrown in to Noah for the lead. That shot was long. Knocked out off of Hunter. Well, it's a couple times that Hunter's pulled within the chance to at least tie or take the lead with a possession and haven't done so yet. Evangelista with the pump fake now to the hoop. Count the bucket and the foul is stepping in was Joseph Arnold to try to draw the charge instead of the block. First foul on Arnold is Evangelista at the line trying to cap off the three-point play, missed the free throw. So it's 26-22. Stone with it, back up top to Noah. Meidlinger coming up for a screen, sets it there. Togiai into the key, and then an offensive foul. They call this on Noah using a forearm. Now that's the fifth team foul on Hunter. It's starting to add up here as Noah Togiai picks up his first foul. Freeman kicks outside. Prince, and then blocked by Noah Togiai. How about that help D? Tadmi now, he's had a really nice second quarter to this game. He's been rebounding the ball well, shooting the ball well. Is that ball into Meidlinger, and he gets fouled. Jevin Warren gets called for his first foul in this ball game. Only the third team foul on the Warriors. Tatami, again, that one came off, however. Still 26, 22 is Jevin Warren with it. Screen from Evangelista. Warren going to try the triple. That shot no good. Rebounded by Meidlinger. Meidlinger, quarterback for the Wolverines this year on the football squad. Had a good season, though they were bested here at Taylorsville. It's I think you couldn't hit that shot. Noah Togiai, boy, difficult one as he gets fouled. And now Noah to the line to shoot two. On Warren, he will head to the bench as Della Cerna comes in for him. Noah Togiai missed his first free throw, makes his second there. Lead is back down to three, 26-23. One thirty-five left here in the opening half. Della Cerna comes up for the screen. Freeman with it. Now Evangelista on the drive. Count that bucket. And heading to the line, Manuel Evangelista for the old-fashioned three-point play. That foul was on Tatami, his first 16 foul. So Taylor's going to be shooting from here on out. Evangelista missed again at the line. 
Now Taylorsville extending that pressure out a little bit. Tad me, boy. That time, De La Serna got a hand on it, though couldn't get the turnover. Shot is missed, chased down by Stone. As the possession stays here with Hunter as we approach one minute left here in the opening half. De La Serna out on Noah. Arnold into Meidlinger, kicked out to Adamy. Hunter, nice job being patient here, don't want to force up a shot. Togiai with the pump fake, opened it up. Now the baseline drive for Stone. Hey, the shot is blocked by Evangelista. His third of the ball game, and now numbers for the Warriors. And Evangelista, boy, looked like he wanted to dunk it. And then don't know if he twisted an ankle or what, came up a little gimpy. Down quickly the other way is Stone. Togiai able to lay it in. Looks like Evangelista still grimacing, trying to walk off whatever it was. We're now down to 18 seconds left, 30-25. Home squad still out in front. Freeman now dribbles down to 10 seconds. Over to Prince. Going to hand back off to Freeman. Five now. Freeman going to have to force one up here. Two men in his face. Gets it over. Evangelista shot is blocked by Togiai. That'll bring the Hunter crowd to their feet as the teams head to the locker rooms at the break. It's 30-25, to 25, Taylorsville out in front on senior night. Time to get the second half underway. The Wolverines will do so on the offense. Trailing by five. Israel Tademy had a really nice second quarter. Helped Hunter come back from what was an 11 point deficit as well, he tried to get it back that time to his teammate Hastings. Turned it over. So now we get to see the first possession for the Warriors here in this second half. It's Warren with it. It's Evangelista with the screen. Then another one by Suarez. Warren over to Freeman now. Freeman had a quiet offensive first half. Had a couple drives to the hoop. Post defense pretty good for Hunter on their switches as Warren, this time from six feet, able to drop that one in. Warren has had a good offensive night tonight. In that first half, starts the second half off right for the Warriors. It's Able to score two there. Follow Papalangi. Kicked outside to Noah. Now a screen by Stone back up top. Stone will give it back to Tatami. Calls out a new play. To Stone. Noah cut to the hoop. Pass wasn't there. That ball knocked away, but Stone's able to chase it down. Tatami now. Long three. Israel Tatami hit the front of the iron and rebounded by Jevin Warren for Taylorsville. Down the other way. Over to Evangelista coming off the screen. He's trying to drive and it looked like to pass it. Instead gets called for the travel. Good defense there by Noah Togiai. Forced Evangelista into another Wolverine and hence the turnover. Here's Noah with it. Looking to work the post. Going glass. And Noah Togiai with a really nice move that time on Evangelista. Togiai's had a much better output here today than he did in that first game against these Warriors. We mentioned only scored eight. He's in double figures now as Evangelista puts this one on the floor. Missed everything. Ramey Prince in the right place. Goes glass. That shot skipped across the rim and rebounded by Fala Papalangi. Up quickly to Stone, who, boy, leaped up to grab that one. Now Noah Togiai, double team into follow Papalongi. Defense collapses, still on the floor. We're going to have a dual possession here. And the ball will be given to the Warriors. Warren trying to get free, can't do so. Now some help, able to get it to Warren eventually. As Tadmi putting some full court on him, able to get it to Prince, kicked out. Back over to Warren, open three-pointer for Jevin Warren. No good, rebound fell right to another Warrior, Manny Suarez missed that. And you hear the uh, little chagrin 
by the Taylorsville defense. And now another dual possession. This time it's Stone Togiai and Joe Falapapalongi causing it. 5.14 left, inbounded to Noah Togiai, working on Evangelisa, kicked out. Three-pointer, Tatami, no good. Warren got a hand on it, but couldn't bring it in. Tatami thought about it again, kicked outside now to Stone Togiai. Noah, five minutes remaining here, turns inside the key, wisely gives it back to follow Papa Longy from the free throw line, couldn't get it to fall as Jevin Warren comes up with the board. Now just calmly dribbling behind, then turned it over to Tatami. Doesn't have numbers, but he's gonna try to take advantage. Coming up with the block was Evangelista, his fourth of the ball game. He has been a protector of that hoop as this ball was tried to be lofted into Adam Hastings, but it was a little too tall for him. Today's game brought to you by the letter B. B is for block, and it has been Manuel Evangelista who has been the sponsor. Four of them here today is Freeman. Boy, beautiful pass inside to Ramey Prince, who's able to lay it in. The lead's back up to 7-34-27 for the home squad Warriors is Tatami. Now gonna slow it up a little bit. We'll hand off to Noah Togiai. Boy, and tried to lob in to follow up along. He had to save it on the baseline, turned it over in the process. Now quickly down the other way over to Warren with the baseline floater, skipped across the rim. Rebounded by Stone Togiai, who's now pushing it the other way. Has Noah on the outside, coming back, and a blocking call. As stepping in was Suarez, Evangelista would have had his fifth block had it not been for the foul. First foul on Suarez is Stone Togiai at the line, made his first, his second attempt here. Boy, that, that one fell for him. A little bit of a line drive, was able to get it over the front of the iron, and it was good. Another beautiful pass by Freeman to Ramey Prince. Gets those two right back. Haven't had a chance to mention yet at that last free throw opportunity, Alex Sojeda checked in for the Wolverines. He's number 22. So that's him, just came up and set the screen. And now he's gonna try from six feet out. And Alex Ojeda, I believe with his first points of the evening, a little teardrop. Freeman the other way being guarded by Stone Togi. Ice screen coming up from Suarez. Freeman, an uncontested three-pointer. Dial it up. For Sidney Freeman, Mention has not had a lot of points tonight. He's been a great distributor, good on defense, but he cashes in there for a 39-31 lead. An eight-point lead for the Warriors as we've hit three minutes left here in this third quarter. Tatami cross-court pass over to Noah Togia. He's gonna fire the three. That shot no good, rebounded by Freeman. Now Freeman on the run, trying to create some separation. He gets fouled here on the floor by Stone Togiai. First team foul, Stone nearly was able to get the turnover there. Freeman able to control it, however. Drive by Freeman, difficult shot. Rebounded by Noah Togiai up ahead to Stone. Cross court to Tatami. Now the entry pass to Hastings, working the block, Suarez defending him. Hands it back, here's a long shot put up, no good as it was Ojeda who tried it. That ball's gonna be off of Taylorsville, we'll stay here. Inbounded to Noah, nice spin move, attacking the glass, Noah, that one rimmed out on him. Well, that's a good look, shot he normally hits. Freeman, another uncontested three. And a timeout. Oh, excuse me, just gotta clear the net. Another three-pointer for Sidney Freeman, and boy, he is dialing up the offense at the right time. Lead back up to 11. This match is the largest it has been of the game, and right now Hunter in need of points. Is Israel Tatami going to try to answer here? Front of the iron, rebounded by Warren. Has numbers if he hurries. Up ahead to Freeman. Going glass, missed it. Prince couldn't get the rebound. Noah, boy, just able to maneuver around the defense of the Warriors. Nice move that time by the junior Togiai. Warren trying to drive on Tatami. Too strong. 
Now Noah turns it back inside in the key. Got his man in the air. Goes glass. And Noah Togiai right now feeling really good. Able to get the ball close to the net. He's been able to lay it in the last couple possessions. 42-35 now the lead for Taylorsville as this ball swung around to Warren. Being guarded by Tatami. Going to look to drive. Go glass. Jevin Warren. Must have taken some notes on Noah these last couple possessions as now we're getting buckets out of the hoop. Boy, nice job. And then I think that ball may have been blocked by Freeman as Ojeda was right there. Ball looked like it changed course and it will change possession to the Warriors. But Freeman able to collect that one and now a timeout gonna be taken here as he's being hounded. Taylorsville the inbound. Again, we see some full court pressure put on as Tatum gonna pick up the foul here. Second foul on Tatami, also the second team foul. Only one team foul on Taylorsville. As we are approaching 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Freeman is going to fire another three. That ball was too long. Rebounded by Stone Togiai up ahead to Noah. Noah going to try for three. That ball, boy, right now for Noah. Skipped across the rim, but it will stay here with Hunter. Tatami to inbound baseline. Up top to Noah, back to Tatami in the corner. Foot was across the line, so that was just a two. Shot no good. And then a jump ball, Stone Togiai underneath. Able to tie it up with Suarez. A dual possession awarded to Taylorsville. Clock has never started, still six seconds left. And we're gonna have to redo this. So they're going to give the ball to Taylorsville with 2.4 seconds left on the sidelines. Freeman has it, going to have to fire the three. Horn sounds no good. 44-35, Taylorsville still out in front as we have finished three periods here on Taylorsville Senior Night. Hunter will start this fourth quarter with possession as well, trailing now by nine, 44-35. Boy, beautiful pass to Togiai, but once again, the letter B, which has been so prevalent in the game of Manuel Evangelista, his fifth block of the ball game. We're going to set a screen for Freeman. Back over to him. Evangelista with the drive. Shot it long. There's Ramey Prince, the junior, to clean it up. Lead back up to 11 now for the Warriors. Long jumper. No good. Is this ball being batted around? And then. A travel going to be the call here as Prince was trying to come down with it. Feet got tangled. It'll stay here with Hunter. Arnold is checked in for Hunter. Tatami able to get the inbound to Stone Togia. Now back up top to Noah. Tatami will come up to pick it up. Freeman will come up. Noah looking to put it on the floor, working around the screen of Stone and Noah Togiai from about eight feet. Able to hit the pull up. Important for Hunter to get defensive stops now as we're under seven minutes remaining. They allow Warren right to the hoop but couldn't finish the play as Tatami able to sky again for another board and he has been a monster on the glass for the Wolverines, been really good. Now again a chance for Hunter to cut further into this lead as it's Noah Togiai again from inside the key. And right now, Noah Togiai feeling pretty good. Back-to-back -back buckets for the junior Utah commit. Six and a half left now. Lead is down to seven. Freeman being guarded by Ojeda in the key. Boy, really nice delay. Can't hit the shot as it was a tough one. Prince with the board going back up. Gets fouled. Ramey Prince to the line for two. Prince able to make his first free throw. We'll show you his second here. It was the second foul on Arnold. Both good for Ramey Prince. Can we see a little extended zone defense here by the Warriors over to Noah Togiai looking to drive. Spins back inside. Thought about passing it, but realized how close he was and able to go up. Noah thought he got fouled as he heads down the floor. 48-41, Taylorsville out in front as they have been for the entire game. The corner with Evangelista able to get Togiai on his feet and then tried to throw it back and no call for over and back. They're gonna rule it was deflected over to Freeman for three. 
Too long, rebounded by Noah, and then up ahead to Stone. Doesn't have numbers, he'll give it back to Noah Togiai. Spins to the hoop, bucket no good, but Noah Togiai will head to the line to shoot two. Five and a half left. Is Warren able to corral that? Gonna bring the ball up the floor quickly as Tatami guarding him. Lead is down to five, 48-43. Ball finds its way to Evangelista looking to drive. Togiai doesn't go for the pump fake because this ball comes off the rim and the rebound brought in by Ojeda. And Hunter trailed by 11 just a couple minutes ago. Looking to get this down to one possession. Boy, Ojeda's pass leading Stone. But the ball was left shy, hit the front of the iron, wouldn't get over, and then a foul here on the rebound. Going to be called on Stone, Togiai. Prince able to get the inbound to Freeman. Dribbles right around Togiai. Now has numbers in the corner. Three-pointer from De La Serna. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Hunter. Tatami up ahead to Noah. Boy, had Arnold cutting to the hoop instead. It's Noah Togiai who throws it down. 48-45, Hunter now trailing by three. They've trailed by as many as 11. Four and a half left. And Togiai has taken this game and brought Hunter all the way back as De La Serna kicks out to Evangelista. Looking to drive. Togiai there on the D. That ball wouldn't fall. Rebounded by Evangelista who gets the roll. Excuse me, De La Serna who was able to finish it off. Up the other way with Arnold who gets fouled by Freeman. Can't make the bucket. And Joseph Arnold to the line to shoot. Arnold made his first free throw. His second attempt here, no good. Hit the front of the iron. It's the second foul, meanwhile, on Freeman. Third team foul on the Warriors in this half as we have hit the midway point of this fourth quarter. Taylorsville still with a four-point lead. Evangelista trying to change that. Couldn't get it to fall, but Ramey Prince does. And then stolen by Freeman. He shows you. How balanced and good he is. Prince, what a difficult shot. Ramey Prince, back-to-back -back buckets. The second one, extremely impressive. As the lead is back up to eight, and now we've got a child on the floor to stop the action. The child was kindly carried over by Sidney Freeman. Not only a heck of a basketball player, but a great citizen as well. How about that? In the corner, three-pointer, count it! Good from Adam Hastings. And it's 54-49 now, Taylorsville. Boy, Warren able to bring that one. It was a little behind him. Able to keep the possession. Three minutes left here. Hunter just will not go away. And a foul here on the drive by Warren. Excuse me, foul was actually on the shot. So Warren to the line to shoot two. Made his first free throw. Second one, back of the iron, rebounded by Tatami. It's a first foul called on Ojeda. The 15th foul on the Wolverines. Boy, that pass was rocketed inside to Hastings. He's able to use glass. 55-51, 250 now. Warren looking to drive, kicked outside. Ramey Prince, bucket no good. Tapped around before Noah Togiai able to control it. Up ahead, and what a pass over to Ojeda, who's able to lay it in. It's been Adam Hastings. Noah Togiai got things going for Hunter in this fourth, and Adam Hastings on the last three possessions been great, as here we have a foul on Stone Togiai. Third foul on Stone, the 16 foul, so Taylorsville going to be shooting from here on out. 2.25 remaining, and a two-point Warrior lead. Freeman over to Warren. Inside Evangelista from just inside the free throw line. Manuel Evangelista has had an outstanding game on senior night, his last game here at Taylorsville High School. He's played extremely well. As now the crowd trying to cheer on. These Warriors trying to keep their region record perfect. And a foul here on Evangelista as he stepped out on Tatami. Foul on Evangelista, the fourth team foul. On the Warriors, is this ball thrown into the backcourt to Noah Togiai? Coming into the game for Taylorsville as well as Manny Suarez, number 33. Now Noah 
double teamed, able to kick this out to Stone. Stone looking for somewhere to go. Screen set by Ojeda, rolled to the hoop, but Stone didn't see him. In the corner, able to keep that ball in play. Nice job that time by Tatami. And now we've got a timeout taken by Hunter. 127 remaining. It's a four point lead for Taylorsville. They've led the entire way. They've had 11 point leads a couple times tonight. Hunter has come back a couple times tonight, but they've never taken the lead. Here's Noah Togiai being guarded by Evangelista. Draws the double team, now looking to drive to the hoop. Noah Togiai able to get that one to roll across, and the lead has been cut to two. 105 left, ball inbounded to Warren. Now numbers for the Warriors. Evangelista wisely pulls out as Taylorsville able to just take some time off the clock. No shot clock here. So Taylorsville can really dribble this out if Hunter doesn't stop him. As Freeman brings it back out to midcourt over to Warren now. Stone Togiai up on him. Togiai with three fouls. Now guarding Freeman tightly. Down to 40 seconds left. Freeman again. And then fouled by Stone Togia. Yeah, that'll be his fourth. Sidney Freeman to the line to shoot one and one. Sidney Freeman made his first free throw, shooting the one and one. His second, no good. Long rebound brought in by Ojeda. 58 55, down to 30 seconds left. Over to Ojeda. He's going to fire the three to tie. No good. Rebounded by Freeman. Along the baseline, Hunter going to have to foul. No, he turned it over. And then coming back is Warren to get the turnover. And I thought that was a double dribble, no go. We're gonna have a foul called here on Hastings. And to the line will be Jevin Warren to shoot one and one. Warren made the front end of the one and one. It's now a four point lead with 14.5 left. Second one good. 14.5 left and a five point lead for the Warriors as Stone will bring it up over to Noah. Gonna take the three, that shot no good. Rebounded and kicked out, tried to get to Tatami. Instead it's Suarez who comes up with it to Freeman. And with that, the horn gonna sound. The Taylorsville Warriors have run the gamut in region two, a perfect 10 and 0. Will represent as the one seed in the state tournament and more importantly, send their seniors off of this great season with the victory here on senior night, 60-55 over the Hunter Wolverines. Again, our final score here from Taylorsville High School, the Taylorsville Warriors 60, the Hunter Wolverines 55, and what an entertaining game this was. We uh, talked about Noah Togiai. He wanted to shake off the memories of that first game against these Warriors, and it didn't quite start off like he thought it would. A little bit of a cold start for uh, the junior Togiai uh, was not what he wanted. Had uh, some missed shots and some, some ones from relatively close range in that first quarter. Just couldn't hit. Coming out on the other end for Taylorsville. Boy, they look to play inspired basketball in this one as Freeman was distributing the ball very, very good, but a lot of help from De La Serna, Evangelista. They both played spectacular in that first half. Uh, and Warren was also very good early on as uh, in the first half, the Warriors would build up an 11-point lead. That lead would be cut to five heading into the break as the Wolverines looked much better in that second quarter. And then coming out in the second half, well, Taylorsville went right back to what they were doing. Freeman started to get in on the party a little bit. And I uh, want to talk a little bit as well about uh, Evangelista. He was a blocking machine here today for the Warriors. Finished with, well, unofficially, with five blocks for the Warriors. He really sealed off much of the driving lanes uh, throughout this game for the Warriors. And then uh, we mentioned Freeman started to get in on it. He had a couple big threes in that second half that would help balloon that lead back up to 11, but the Wol the Wolverines just would not go away. And in that fourth quarter, Noah Togiai really willed this team back into this ball game. He was fantastic in the fourth, had six points in the first two minutes of that fourth quarter, and then got some great help uh, from his teammate, Adam Hastings, had a couple back-to-back -back and a nice assist on three possessions to draw uh, Hunter back to within two, but it would be the uh, Warriors who were able to pull this one out late. Their two captains, Sidney Freeman as well as Jevin Warren, able to go three of four at the free throw line in the final minute to seal this one away in that five point victory. We mentioned with this, the Warriors now 10 and 0 in region play, 18 and 5 overall. That's where they will finish. That's a fine season for the Blue and Gold. They will be the number one seed out of region two, and they will look to play the number four seed out of a very tough region three. That looks to be either Brighton or West. 
West Jordan, depending on what happens in Region 3. Meanwhile, for the Hunter Wolverines, they do drop this one. They drop to 7-3 and three in Region Play and 10-12 and 12 overall. They as well will proceed to the state tournament where they will be the number two seed out of this region, and they will uh, prepare to play either Bingham or Copper Hills. And uh, both those two teams, very fine teams in Region 3. Both these teams have their tasks cut out for them as they head up to the University of Utah for the state tournament. But tonight, it was the Taylorsville Warriors who send their, senior out, their seniors out on a winning note with big smiles with a 60-55 victory over the Hunter Wolverines. And that's going to do it for our coverage of High School Rewind from Taylorsville High School. For Mike Christensen, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.